right. Hello, this is Ben's YouTube channel. We're with uh, John Stockhouse. We're going to do a review on his bug out bag. We're just going to go through a quick list of stuff. Um, yeah, go ahead, John. All right. Um, this is my bug out bag, and I'm not going to do a real in depth review of it because there's a lot of stuff in it. So, so this is with your regular three day emergency backpack. This is actually more of a two week, you know, long term bag, and to go over all the contents would take a lot. And I'll probably do a multi part video. So this is just a quick quick list of the contents. Uh, the bag itself is a Kelty Coyote 80, um, uh, 4,700 cubic inches of space, really comfortable. It's got a suspension system, any body type. This will fit. Really, really comfortable. Great padding everywhere. And uh, actually, the whole backing part actually adjusts up and down for every type of height. So, infinite amount of adjustment. All right. So, for starters, uh, I'll start with the top. Uh, this whole top part, there's two compartments. And top part right here, I store my quick access level one first aid kit. The basics in there. The other compartment, I keep. My uh, Marmont rain jacket, this works really well. And then also keep my cooking kit on top as well. And I can't show you all the stuff in there because there's a lot of stuff in it. So that's three quarters of a liter, this holds. And just a lot of basic stuff. Uh, like I said, I'll go into another video in depth. That covers the top pouch. All right, so I'll go to the side pouch. Right here is my Baco Laplander saw. I can't tell you how many times this thing has saved my butt. This thing cuts wood like a champ, like no other. Really like it. On the other side, gosh, this would regularly be on my waist. This is my cold steel SRK knife. I don't know if you can see, but I have quite a bit of wear on it. I've used to baton this before in the past. All right. Cool thing is the, the Kelsey has two big side pockets. You can fit a lot of stuff in it. Uh, cotton bandana, you know, first aid, pre filter. Uh, Phoenix headlamp, uh, waterproof matches, uh, titanium spork, I light my fire, made in Sweden, a uh, little Smith uh, knife sharpener, and see here, water purification tablets, those are a must wherever you're going, toothbrush, toothpaste, and spare batteries for the headlamp. All right. Going into the second pocket. This is more just my basis to store my water bottle. This is a Pathfinder water bottle. In the canteen cup, stainless steel. So I can boil water in that. All right, that covers the two side pockets. Another cool feature about the side pockets is uh, they actually have a complete pass through with a Velcro enclosure. So I put my entire hand through there. So if you want to carry a full size axe, you can really pass it through here. And you can put in one of these mesh pockets, which is very handy for longer items. Or even I've seen people put a Ruger 1022 or a small rifle on the side. So it's very versatile. Okay, front pocket. I don't have much in here. I have a fleece, neck guard. And the other thing is I don't have all my clothes in here. That would be another video. But they do all fit in here, all my holding. And the only thing I have in here is my pack towel, which is like a big ShamWow. That's the biggest one they make. That comes in handy for hygiene. All right, main pack. Now, this isn't something you see in your regular emergency bag. This is actually a trap bag. And inside it, I have steel traps, I have mouse traps, I have fishing traps. Like I said, that's going to be another video in itself. It's about four pounds of just all traps. And you know, that's for game and collecting food. For my shelter, what I prefer to use is Two uh, grabber reusable space blankets. These are five by seven feet. So you can make it, and you know, the list is endless of all the shelters you can make. Uh, they're an olive green, and inside they're uh, metalized, they're a reflective material. So if you build a fire, they'll have a great heat convection, and you can really warm yourself up. I've used these in uh, sub freezing conditions, and I've stayed really cozy warm. All right. Last but not least is my sleep system. Uh, in here, in this little stuff sack, I keep a Kelty air mattress. I keep a United States military surplus green patrol bag from their sleep system. And also a pillow, a little air pillow that I have. 
I have a standard issue green sleeping pad here. There's nothing really fancy about it. Solid foam. Uh, uh, last thing I have to show you is there's waist pack straps in here. I just keep a uh, uh, mosquito repellent, 100% DEET. And on this side, I keep paracord and a compass because that's just quick access. Good to have a compass. And the side pocket, all I have in there right now is just a backpack cover. And the last one, at least that's been in this video the whole time, is uh, this wool blanket that I'm on. It's an Italian 100 cents wool blanket. That also, too, fits in this bag along with the clothing. So that's been uh, kind of a rough draft of my bug out bag. I'll go into detail later, but this just shows you the contents and what I carry. So, rate, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for your views.